أتدري من يزيل الهم إن ضاقت بك الدنيا ومن يراك لا ينساك دوما كيفما تحيا ومن يراك لا ينساك دوما كيفما تحيا Ismail has a goal that he's gonna get married before me. He has two years to get married before me. Do you think you're gonna marry before me? Oh, 110%. Ismail? Yeah. So, where are you gonna find your LinkedIn? Comment down below. I will see your profile picture, yeah? <laughs> she have to have the cows. Nah, hijab only. Hijab only, you know. This place is in a housing estate, so we think we're in the wrong place straight away. But I do recognize this from TikTok, so we are in the right place. Oh, yeah, people are here. This is packed. So, uh, initial impressions. I'm still waiting for the menus. Didn't get the menu. I think it's literally someone's Why gaff. Do they have the porch I think it's someone's house, and they've just transformed it into this thing. Fair play, them. That's a nice hustle. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna order, so I'm probably gonna order your one orders from the TikTok straight up. Since I'm here because of TikTok, I might just even eat whatever's on the TikTok menu. Do you get me? It's gonna be like a sushi set. Probably get some noodles. We'll let you know. Wag one and let you know what's up. You literally sat on a couch. We're sat on school chairs. Mixed noodles is 340. It was a bit confusing ordering using the menus because they were on the website, but then it was not in English. But you know, we got around that with Google Translate. We ordered, let's see how fast it takes. Okay, so this is the review on the toilets. It's a bit of a bando, I'm not gonna lie. See, I think this place was a production company at first, and then they just were like, let's make sushi. So you just put it like that, put it across. Right here, this mine's a bit wonky. And then this is your grape shop. Yo, I think I got it. Try it, go a bit lower. How? How? Yeah. yeah. Stop eating, let me show us first. Show me. I think it's like this. Okay. Like this, you see? Like this. So it's gonna grab onto like it. Like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Mm -hmm. Awesome for experience, man. Noodle review, yeah? I already took a few bites, but it's already, it's class. Overall, yeah, I give it. Yeah, it pissed me off. Show us how to blend and use the chops it. Overall, I'd give it an 8.5, which is pretty high, to be honest. Oh, okay. Finish, yeah, so you're gonna have to okay, eat with the chopsticks. Sunna, sunna. Yeah, it's okay. Whether you it's like okay. it or not, you're gonna have to learn. Right, come on, show us. Cheese! Come on, let's come go. Come on, man. Cheese! <laughs> man, learn in three seconds. Hey, uh, Zakaria. Yeah, you're doing the easy ones, you're doing the beef. The <laughs> main. <laughs> yeah. So, Allah, you're gonna get cracking with your hands. Allah, I'll get cracking with my hands, no problem. Oh, okay. It's a sweet and sour chicken, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm actually doing it. Bro, that's not too sweet. It's not too sour. Huh? It's crispy from the outside, soft from the inside. It's very juicy. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's, it's perfect. But you can't go wrong with sweet and sour chicken. That's why I'm gonna give it an eight. It's not anything crazy, but eight is very high though. Many of us are stabbing it. Yeah, <laughs> man, you're supposed to do this. Cheese! <laughs> you just don't let the rubber food from scumbag. <laughs> okay, we got the full sushi platter. Presentation, 10 out of 10, I have to say. Taste is decent, but for the price, my God, full platter for a tenner. We're gonna enjoy it. Listen, I'm allowing the chopsticks for this one because I can pick it up on my hands. So. Okay, so initially I was thinking, <clears throat> how is this so cheap compared to Ireland? But then quickly realized that the quality of sushi is not the same. I thought it was at the start because there's a few pieces, there's good quality there, just one or two pieces. And then it just wasn't the same, do you get me? Like with the Irish one, with the plate, we'd get in Ireland, you'd get fresh tuna, you'd get crab, you'd get so many different Experience, variants yeah. and there'd be fresh yeah. ingredients. Yeah. With this, there's a lot of filler rolls like this one. It's like rice and cucumbers, you get me? Or there's a lot of this going on as well. So I'm not disappointed because you did pay a tenner for the platter. But in the same time, you were coming in expecting Irish quality but Turkish prices, but that just was not happening. 
either way, I'm gonna rate this place a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I think that's a decent it's gonna score. Be lower for me. Just because of the service, they were always missing something, you know? He had to wait extra long, like I felt like we waited like a really long time. And they didn't even bring it in one go, like all of this. And then we had to wait another 10 minutes for the other. The platter, the and they forgot the drinks as well. So, yeah. But you know what, I was giving them the benefit of the doubt, because I know that's not their main business. I think like their production company, and they've shifted this place from a production company to a restaurant. But I'll give With them the service, the it wasn't the best. The only bad thing about it is, uh, they made me eat beside some clap thing across from me. Smell <laughs> that. Yeah, it's just cheap. It's like Aldi. If you know Aldi or Tesco sushi, it's like that. Yeah. Out of 10, I give it a 6.5. 6.5. 6 but for a price, actually, 7.5. Yeah, that's... Because it did fill me up. The noodles are actually very nice. I took a 10 out of 10 because I was the one who finessed the toilet. I took a 5. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on. Get active. You're active, come on, oi! How do you feel about your new apartment? Very Some nice. view, bro. That is a mad view. I have a little kitchen here. <coughs> nice one. I have the own little... Is that, that's a sofa bed as well, you know that? <laughs> Are you doing a room tour, yeah? Are you doing a room tour? Ah! Get out so here. the reason why Zakari and Ismail have their own apartment is because when we came yesterday to the spot that we we're in, your man freaked out because I had it registered as two guests on Airbnb. I didn't think it would be a problem because you know you have a whole loft. If you have an entire loft, it doesn't matter how many guests you have. But anyways, he's like, you're only supposed to have three guests. Da, da, da. This and that. I'm like, cool, cool, no worries. You have an extra guest, no problem. Well, I'll pay for it. And then uh, when Zakeni is making him, because it's so rude, I was like, right, I'm just going to get them a separate place. I'm going to get them their own spot uh, because these people, you know, you just don't want to give them business. When Zakeni is making came down, I was like, right, got them their own apartment. And this place was so rude. It was actually disgusting. Even though they had their own apartment, obviously they came to visit us. They came down for like literally an hour and a half. And your man from the reception went up and got real rude and got smiling. He was like, what are you doing? having a, a guests in your apartment and stuff like that. I'm like, is this a hotel or is this an apartment suite, my guy? Please explain to me. Because if it's a hotel, okay. But you have it down listed in the Airbnb as an apartment. Next time you book something, you just double check. Now, I never leave bad reviews, but these were pricks, man. I'm not gonna leave a bad review, I'm just gonna say how it is. False advertising. They put it down as an entire loft apartment. Turns out it was a big hotel room. Zakari and Ismail been using this holiday just to sleep. Okay, I get it. Ismail is in his growth phase. If he misses out on a few extra hours of sleep, that can mean a few centimeters lost in bone production. But Zakari has no excuse. Hey, so we're trying to go out and explore. We're trying to actually go see this. But this guy is just yawning and he's been sleeping. He's literally just out of the apartment. Bro, what? No, you don't have that, man. Yes, Fella got the flu from the AC, convinced himself he has the flu. You know what? I mean? Yeah, the flu. Remove the sense of smell. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said you booked somewhere central. There's no water park near here. How about go karting? Let's do something fun. Bouncing about. My mom can't really hack the heat, but now we're in the shade, so it's all good. Just floating about, bro. And this is a casual shop. And look at the style and architecture. It's absolutely beautiful, man. Literally, you can just buy chewing gum from this spot. Mad. Mad. For the wedding night, after the wedding night. Cheers! The verdict of the day so far. Me, Zakari, and his manager chilling, and Miriam and my mom hijab shopping. In the main spot of the bazaar, they were selling these for literally 180 liras. And look how much they're going for here. Before today, I did not know there were so many hijab styles, but now I know. I don't know. My mom likes the is the square ones, yeah, not the rectangle, the square. They have to be the same on all the men. The mine is He left me a care package just here, told me to pick it up from one of the stores like two weeks ago. I didn't have time to come, so I just came. And your man was so nice, inviting me for tea and stuff. I was like, I felt like I needed to go buy something from him, but I'm definitely gonna come back. Let's see. T-shirts for me, for Zakaria, for Ismail. We're here at a dessert spot. I'm just gonna grab a coffee and a 
mix of bacalao to be honest. Oh, this lemonade. Lemonade or oh, just random bits. Also, how are they serving the bacalao before the coffee, man? So that was our second session um, for the week. We're gonna pop in again tomorrow and do a third session. Man, I am so happy I found these people, I swear to God, because they're so professional, they're not trying to rip you off. Like for example, yeah, my mom, every single spot that we went to, for profit's sake, they were like, yeah, you need to take off the whole tooth and we'll just do implants. And all of them were suggesting four or five implants. And then your man came, we came to this guy and he was like, what are you talking about? You just need root canals and maybe two implants max. So, and the root canals are tedious, you know, you have to come in, but the guy is just looking out for you because he's an honest, good guy. So I would highly, 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 highly recommend if anyone is coming down to get their teeth done in Turkey, to come to uh, Bainan Clinic, Bainan Clinic. I will link them down below. I will share the social medias because honest to God, I'm just so happy with how honest and professional these guys are. There's my mom popping into some Pujab spot. <laughs> Typical. I get more weird stares in Turkey wearing a thong than I do in Ireland. I swear to God. It's ridiculous. I don't know why, man. I think it's not part of their culture or even the Irish, man. It's not part of their culture as well. Do you get me? But they're like, yeah, cool, that's what he's into. You know, if he wants to wear a dress, he can wear the dress. But Turkey, bro, I'm, I don't know if it's just me or I got my dirty stairs. No, it's so view, isn't it? We're just chilling. So we're gonna go do our washing at Zakari and Ismail's place. But they're really living their life, bro. They have their own free gap. Where is your free gap, man? It may have stuck on me. Yo! I walk past this spot nearly every single day, and I think. This is where they make the Louis V's. So anybody who's interested in a, in a quick Louis Vuitton bag. have to go all this uphill. This is actually very steep. It doesn't look that steep on video. But Istanbul is so hidden. I think it's Turkey in general. It's like a workout just going up and around spot. So it takes a lot out of you. If you're going to be walking around Istanbul, you might do 5,000 steps, but they will literally feel like you've done 10 to 15,000 easy. And then the sun does not make that job any easier why are you screaming so now my bro why is it such a kip I told him, bro I so manta just came made some nice home cooked meal and i'm so sick of eating in restaurants Turkish food's nice for a bit but then after a while it just on the daily thing it just gets heavy because it's all fat and meat it's nice to switch it up um, Zakaria is going to the mosque, proper hey. scumbag. Hey. Where's your anaqa, bro? Hey. You just prayed Aisha praying. Guess who didn't pray? <laughs> Guess who did not play? What happened? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> you know, menstrual cycle, you know? <laughs> 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 to clarify real quick, Zakaria already prayed. That's why. Prayed Maghrib and Aisha. Bro, I'm trying to make your image look better, fam. After you've ruined it, you've tarnished your image. I'm trying to fix it. Man, it's like haram for me. Kim is haram. You're 20 years of age, you didn't even pray. What are you doing, man? The size of you alone, and you're acting like this, you're moving like a little child. 
Sorry, I was trying to hit him. Zakaria, what does that say there? La ilaha illallah. Welcome to Islam, brother. <laughs> 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 MashaAllah, man, like Zakaria praying Jum'ah prayer and that. Boy, it's another day, another dentist appointment. Because we live so central, close to ASOFI, there's no taxis that actually come in, so you can't order a taxi. So we have to actually go out to the main road so we can get ourselves a taxi and hopefully we can get ourselves a taxi in time. It's so embarrassing when you have an appointment and you come like, you know, 10, 15 minutes late. But the traffic's so unpredictable here. Can't really blame traffic though. You need to just bounce early. My crusty shoes need these, man. I've been popping in and out of this place for the past week. And I'm telling you, these guys are next level one. Yeah. So they've been giving me antibiotics because um, they found like some mad inflammation. They're gonna see what the story is with that. They're gonna x-ray, obviously, and then we're gonna finish off the root canal, and then hopefully we get this extracted. Currently on the anesthesia on this side, if you can see, he's just bleeding. Fuck, I can't really see it, but I feel so fucked. Basically, he's going to on some crisps and it just cracked. It's one day, your man was like one hour away from here. Told him straight away, legged it down, empty clinic. Fair play to him. I am out on a mission to find a 24 hour pharmacy. All the pharmacies are closed. I got a prescription from my mum. She literally got her bones drilled. She got like dental implants. I filmed it as well. I was like, can I film? And then I was like, oh, I regret asking if I can film. All right, first things first. I need to take care of business. And then, since we're looking for a 24-hour pharmacy anyways, it's gonna be open, you know? I'm sure my mom will understand. I'm sure she can cope with the pain. To be honest, she's actually not in that much pain because I'm giving her my painkillers. <laughs> I have painkillers as well. So I was told there's no pharmacies open after seven o'clock and there's one main pharmacy that's literally 10 kilometers away from here. So we're gonna do that. We can't get a taxi because we will be sitting ducks in traffic. So we're gonna hop into a tram, get squeezed out of it, and hopefully not catch any COVID and get our drugs. <laughs> we're close. Hopefully, hopefully the pharmacy's open. This is the moment of truth. This is where I find out if I got sent to the right place or if I got sent to the wrong place. But to be honest, so far it actually looks like I got sent to the right place because there is a whole line waiting for me. Thank you. I am guys. Let's go. I did not think we would get that sorted, but alhamdulillah. When you leave on a mission and they expect something of you and you don't deliver on the mission, you come back empty handed. I'm so glad that that is not happening. We're coming back with the goods, baby. I am in a dilemma, yeah. I either go for food, still haven't went for food yet. It's literally half nine. Wallahi, I'm fasting, like legit fasting. I haven't eaten anything. Go for food and then come back with the goods or do I go back? Because if I go back, I'm gonna probably make it back in an hour. So that's gonna be me to have 10 not eat. My conscience is at me heavy. Do I take back the goods because my mom needs this? Actually, yeah, my mom needs this, man. And I can't be thinking of my stomach. Boy, I'm stabbing. Right, send on. We're gonna go to the train. Stopping by real quick, I'm gonna get my mum a takeaway and then I'm gonna come back. From this spot on the way, I was like, right, they actually have loads of stuff that you can drill without really needing your teeth. Do you get me? So I got a soup, some mashed potatoes, 
and solid. Hopefully that does the job. The goods are acquired again. I'm gonna drop off the package and I'm gonna go back up to this restaurant to eat because I'm starving, bro. I'm literally fasting with no edge. That's my situation these days. Why? I don't know, man. At least I should actually just make the intention of fasting and get the reward for it. But no, the man just goes like a dirt hit and not eat anything. Send it on. Right, I'm gonna get cracking with a few of the Q&A questions that came through. First one is, when I film, do I plan it or is it all in post-production? It's a bit of both. Let's say the vlogs, the, there's no plan to them whatsoever. But when it comes to the videography type of stuff, most of it generally is all in post-production obviously i go out there i try to capture as much as possible capture emotions feelings and then based on what i have i'll take that and then i will try shape my story for me because when you're out there the most important thing is it's getting the clay it's getting the material to work with getting a lot of the generic stuff when you get married who you get married to who's your fiance what camera do you use go to the other q a videos and I answer every single one of those.